Well, it's a bonus episode. Happy Thanksgiving to my American friends. If you're anything like me, uh, your favorite podcasts have taken the rest of the week off for uh, for American Thanksgiving. So, since I'm Canadian and I deal with American clients in my job, I've got the time today. Figured I'd record a little bonus episode action for you. So welcome to the show. I'm John Dulong. Welcome to the John Dulong Show. Um, if you are celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope you have a really happy and healthy... Uh, well, there's nothing really healthy about Thanksgiving, is there? It's, it's, it's basically a gluttonous feast. I'm not, I'm not judging. Don't get me wrong. I actually just unfollowed somebody on Twitter last night because the, I guess they're vegan... And uh, they were going on about how uh, it's a Thanksgiving is a holiday that glorifies corpse eating. Which, like, I mean, hey, if you're not going to eat meat, that's cool. I really don't care. Um, but if you're going to be judgy about me wanting to have a steak sometimes, uh, go to hell. I, I don't need that in my life. I like salad as much as the next guy. Probably more than the next guy, uh, you know, statistically. But uh, you know what? Like, I also like steak. And, um, you know, screw you. Steak's delicious. So is turkey. I love turkey. I love turkey that's cooked right. Really what I love is, like, the day after you have the turkey. Because, like, you've boiled up the soup. Oh, turkey soup. And then, like, you also have, like... Hot turkey sandwiches with, like, homemade french fries. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's probably not going to be until, like, Christmas. Actually, after Christmas, until I have turkey again. So, I don't know. This is just kind of a bittersweet moment for me. Another another American Thanksgiving's done. Uh, in my job, American Thanksgiving is the busiest week of the year. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, American clients that I deal with, uh, dealing with food. And uh, it's, it's, it's a busy, busy time. And uh, this was my sixth one. Uh, it's my, I've been there five years. Um, I had uh, Thanksgiving just shortly after I got hired. Uh, so this is my sixth one in a row. Uh, whew. I didn't ruin any of this year. I didn't ruin any Thanksgivings this year. So I guess that's good. I guess I'm getting better at things. Getting better at my job. I don't know. Um, today uh, we're going to talk about, other than just miscellaneous i guess <laughs> we're going to talk about um i'm going to talk about uh the net neutrality uh of course if you're if you're paying attention uh there's a pretty big fcc thing going down in the states um what does that have to do with canada for the canadian listeners or other people in the world because i know i have some over in the uk and maybe even some in australia um well i'm going to talk about that i'm going to talk about you know what the implications are uh if and when the United States does pass uh, uh, a, re- a rejection, I guess, of of, um, of net neutrality, what that could mean, uh, and why uh, why we need to encourage our American friends to fight this one like crazy. <laughs> We get going in on that. I uh, just wanted to send a uh, big shout out once again to my buddy Will Will Young on uh, on Monday's episode. Uh, gotten a lot of great feedback. If you're if you're listening to the show because you listened to that one, uh, I know that he, uh, the Elwood City Limits uh, team. I say team as if it's not just Will and Lucas, but I know that they uh, I know they retweeted and uh, they sent out uh, sent out links to the show. So if you if you're listening, I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Welcome. Um, this is generally speaking the tone that I have when I'm not interviewing somebody. So uh, hope that you like it. Um, also want to send some love out to um, love out to my buddy uh, Luke uh, Luke Hardyman. I've uh, recorded some stuff. Uh, that's gonna get rec- gonna get released uh, 
over the next couple of weeks, probably uh, maybe in that little Christmas lull. Turns out that I, I somehow launched this show to uh, to be released so that I release an episode on Christmas Day. Uh, there will be an episode on Christmas Day, and there will be an episode on uh, on New Year's Day. Uh, I'm just gonna have to pre-record them because I can make no guarantees about what my life is going to look like on those days. So, you know, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll make some plans. Um, Luke uh, Luke also uh, put a uh, an iTunes review, as did uh, Jen, an old friend. I haven't seen her in years. Um, but uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, re- review on Apple Podcasts is a big help. You can find me on Apple Podcasts. You can also, uh, new, new, new edition, you can find me on Google Play Podcasts. Uh, so that's exciting. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm looking into maybe Stitcher. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing that people use still. Um, haven't really. I tried Stitcher once upon a time. Like I was looking for a, a good podcatcher for my uh, for my Android phone. I didn't really like it myself, but uh, I wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. I think for what it does, it's probably pretty great. But um, you know, we'll look into trying getting on a Stitcher if there's if there's a want for it. I'm more than happy to uh, to do the small amount of legwork that it takes. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I got an email from, uh, from Brianna this week. Uh, you can always email the show at John Dulong show at gmail.com. Brianna is, uh, Debbie's sister. Uh, she had some nice things to say, uh, said that she's enjoying the show. Didn't enjoy the wrestling. I know it's going to be a polarizing thing when I talk about wrestling guys. Sorry. It's going to happen. Hey, you know what? Like I said, I'm not sorry. It's, it's, this is my show. It's the John Dulong show. I like wrestling. Sometimes I'm going to talk about wrestling. Um, Speaking of wrestling, that that match that that uh, Will and I talked about, uh, Velveteen Dream versus Aleister Black, it delivered, guys. One of the best matches that I've seen this year. Uh, really, really good storytelling in the ring. Uh, you know what? I think maybe over uh, over the next few weeks, I'm gonna just take an episode to just sort of talk about why I love wrestling because a lot of people, you know, a lot of people question me on that. Um, you know, it's the the classic. You know, it's fake, right? Of course, I know it's fake. You know, the Game of Thrones is fake, right? Um, nobody ever makes a question about that. Nobody, nobody ever questions, you know, you know, Brian Cranston didn't actually cook meth to which I say, yeah, but I mean, how do you know for sure? Uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, you know what? Like, I think that there's, uh, there's some really interesting, uh, conversation about why somebody in their twenties still loves wrestling as if they were a kid. Uh, so maybe we'll take a look into that as well. Sort of the whole point of this show is that it's kind of flip flopping the fly. I was talking to talking to Will about this after we were finished recording. You know, uh, this show is just about whatever uh, I want to make it about. If there's anything you want me to talk about in particular, if you're interested in in me covering any sort of specific topic, drop me a line, and I'm happy to take a look into it. Uh, if I have anything to say about it, if I have you know one of the one of the classic show rants about it, I'm happy to uh, I'm happy to to you know drop some uh drop some content on it i'm I'm more than happy to uh to sit in front of a microphone and chat as long as you guys are enjoying this thing as long as you're still listening as long as i'm still enjoying doing it uh i'm gonna be happy to keep on doing this so uh shows just about just about anything that i want it to be about on any given time so um yeah it's gonna be uh gonna continue to be that way Uh, and today i want to talk about uh a free and open internet because uh I guess I'm a content creator now, so I, I have to have, I have to have an opinion on this stuff. Eh, I had an opinion on it anyhow. So uh, we're going to talk about net neutrality after you know some nice soothing guitar, because I'm sure that yeah, after the soothing guitar, I'm going to be anything but soothing. It's going to be a classic John rant today, I think, guys. Um, hope that you enjoy. <laughs> I guess I got to start uh, start this whole thing by trying to explain in layman's terms what net neutrality uh, actually means, and I should say, in when it comes to this, I am a layman myself, so uh, 
probably going to lack a bit of nuance here. It's probably going to not be 100% technically correct uh, 100% of the time. But uh, I'm going to give you what I understand net neutrality to be, sort of where we stand now, certainly where we stand in Canada and where we stand in the United States for now, um, and sort of what is at risk here. So provided that the content is completely legal, um, so we're not talking about illegal file sharing here or anything like that, as it stands right now, uh, if you want to access any given website on the internet, you have as equal a use to that website, equal as use to that data, equal speeds, equal uh, access as you would uh, if you were any other internet user or you were accessing any other website. So uh, let's say that you're looking to download this podcast, the John Dulong Show, bonus episode number two. You have access to the same uh, resources on the internet, the same uh, the same speeds uh, as you would as if you wanted to download uh, the most re recent episode of Elwood City Limits. Um, giving those guys another shout out here today. Um, so... Basically, this is what we sort of see as net neutrality. It's sort of an equal and free access uh, to the internet, equal and free access to the uh, the networks, regardless of what kind of content that you're trying to access. Okay, so what uh, what happens when you get rid of net neutrality? Let's keep on with the uh, the podcast analogy here. Let's say that tomorrow. Uh, Elwood City Limits, uh, Will and Lucas, they they sign a contract with uh, with Verizon. So Verizon now owns Elwood City Limits, uh, and Will and Lucas are significantly more wealthy uh, than I am right now. That would go without saying. But uh, let's just say that uh, that they get bought up by Horizon, Verizon, and uh, I'm still over here rocking it as a as an independent producer, just doing my own thing. Uh, enjoying the the audience that I have, uh, but um, Will and Lucas they 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 are owned by Verizon. Let's just say that you are a Verizon user uh, and you want to download my show. Well, what may end up happening is uh, you may end up getting uh, throttled when you're trying to download my show, which means that if it took you say two minutes to download my show now. Uh, it may end up taking you four minutes, whereas Will and Lucas's show still only takes you two minutes. May even take you one minute. They may even uh, make your make your experience a little bit easier for you to download uh, Elwood City Limits versus the John Dulong Show, uh, while simultaneously making the John Dulong Show harder to download. So that's what that's an example of of uh, traffic throttling. Okay, so it's it's basically uh, certain domains are made slower uh, in order for other domains to be faster. And the reason that they do this is that, uh, hypothetically, they're going to be making some revenue from Elwood City Limits that they wouldn't be making from me otherwise. Now, of course, they're going to be making the revenue from you, the Internet user, regardless. Uh, you're paying for your connection in order to access my show. Uh, but they're also making money on the back end from Will and Lucas through advertising, through, you know, Patreon dollars, through whatever the case may be, they're going to get a cut of that. So they're getting it in this case, Verizon is getting it in this case from two sides. They're getting it from both uh, your, you know, let's say $20 a month internet connection. And you're, they're also getting it from um, advertising dollars, other revenues that the podcast, maybe, maybe they start doing, um, they start doing some, some merchandise sales over on Elwood City Limits. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. You know, Will, if you're listening, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm making you out to be a complete heel here. Um, but, uh, you know, basically what ends up happening is that Elwood City Limits ends up having an unfair advantage in the marketplace that I just don't have just simply because I don't do business with Verizon in the same way. Just so we're not picking on Will and Lucas anymore, uh, let's let's switch this over to say uh, search providers. Okay, um, I mean you and I both, I'm sure, use Google. That is the one that uh, that's the internet search provider that we use, uh, unless you're a weirdo and you want to use Bing. But you know, if you're using Verizon Internet, for example, uh, maybe it ends up uh, costing you a little bit of extra extra change to use Google. Um, you know, and the reason for that is Verizon owns Yahoo. So they want to point you in the direction of using Yahoo um, 
maybe you don't get to access Google at your current internet tier. You can uh, you can pay maybe an extra fifteen dollars a month uh, to get uh, to get access to Google. But if you're not pay- willing to pay that, 